live session this afternoon in the bath, learning some skills and things that you can do with your little ones. Are you excited? Yeah. And we're going to do some good things. Are you happy that we're borrowing your baby to do these things? Yes? Yeah? Mm. Hi everybody. Hi everyone. Everyone joining in. Hello. Are you all okay? Hi everybody. Say hi. Hello. Can you do waving hands to say hello to everybody? Right everybody, so this is our first ever Water Babies Facebook Live, so it's a world exclusive for us uh, going live in the bath today. So my name's Tori, I have been a swimming teacher uh, for nearly seven years now. I started with Water Babies with my little boy when he was 11 weeks old, uh, fell in love with it, left my old job. I've had two children since, so I've got three in total and I've been running the franchise in North and East Yorkshire for just over the last three years. So that's a bit about me. Would you like to introduce yourself? Go on then. I'm Hetty, I am four. So this is my daughter Hetty and she's four. She's gonna be helping me today. So before we get started, I uh, just need to remember, never leave your little ones alone in the bath. Um, you know, babies, toddlers, make sure that they're always supervised uh, when they're in the bath. So, should we start by getting warmed up, Hetty? Yeah. Do you think we should sing a song to get warmed up? Yeah. So, we're going to start by singing, if you're happy and you know it. So, we all love this song in our lessons, don't we? We're going to wave hello first, then we're going to make a splash, and then we're going to practice blowing some bubbles. Does that sound like a good idea? <laughs> <laughs> Are we ready? Should we start with waving hands? Are you ready? If you're happy and you know it, wave hello, hello. If you're happy and you know it, wave hello, hello. If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it, if you're happy and you know it, wave hello, hello. If you're happy and you know it, make a splash, splash, splash. If you're happy and you know it, make a splash, splash, splash. If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it, if you're happy and you know it, make a splash, splash, splash. If you're happy and you know it, Blow some bubbles. <laughs> if you're happy and you know it, blow some bubbles. <laughs> if you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it, if you're happy and you know it, blow some bubbles. <laughs> Fantastic. Bubbles, Eddie. You know, they were really big bubbles. Right, everybody. So the first thing that we're going to do is for those of you that already swim with us, we're going to have a recap of our name, Are You Ready to Go? And for those of you that haven't started lessons with your little ones yet, uh, this is a really important uh, skill that we use. It's great for getting little ones used to having water on their faces and working on developing their breath control throughout our lessons. So the command name, are you ready to go? Uh, we say, obviously, little one's name. Are you ready is a question. So we're asking little ones if they're okay, they're happy for us to put water on their face. And then go is what they hear before we put that water down their face, okay? So, Hetty, can I show everybody what we do with your baby? Would you go sit up that end of the bath for me? Yeah. Thank you, sweetie. So, you hold your little ones up right in the crook of your arm in the bath like this. We're going to say, baby, are you ready? Go. Nice hands of water, gently down baby's face and wipe it away. So the most important thing with this command, you might make a face, is uh, that we're asking them that after go, you leave a nice pause. You're giving your little one a chance to respond. It's amazing. When you practice this one at home in the bath, you'll see your little ones blinking those eyes. They'll take that breath. So you're waiting for those visual cues. And then it's a nice handful of water. Gently down baby's face and wipe it away. Thank you, Betty. So as your little ones get older, we progress this to blowing bubbles with them. Um, so but I'm going to cover some uh, skills and things that you can do with your little ones in the bath when you're blowing bubbles at uh, later on, okay? Name where you would go has been an absolute lifesaver for us because all of my little ones are really confident having water on their faces. It's amazing at bath time. My youngest has got really, really long hair, so we just use Lottie Are You Ready Go? Makes hair washing an absolute dream. Make sure you practice this every bath time. You'll really notice a difference with your little ones. Um, so it's a really good one to do. Just make sure that you don't put your little ones under the water unless you're in your water babies lessons with your qualified water babies teacher, okay? So should we do a song now, Hetty? Mm -hmm. We're going to do Incy Wincy Spider. 
So Incy with the spider is all right. Do you want to hold baby? You hold baby for me, good girl. So Incy with the spider is a song that we do in our lessons. So we have this one's lying on the wibble wobble mat um, and we sing the song and gently go up and down their legs, up and down their tummies. We sprinkle water on them for their rain. Is it big spine? Um, it's a really good sensory um, skill to be all into ones, okay? Uh, that sensation of water tickling on their skin and that skin is <laughs> baby for me. Yeah. Oh, baby, nice and still for me. Oh, baby, still. Um, do you touch in your little ones with those hands? Really lovely skin to skin bonding. It's great for eye contact, you know, communicating with your little ones. It's a lovely bonding skill, okay? So, I, can I have baby for this one? And we're going to sing it together. So gently hold your little ones, get them lying on their backs, really encouraging that water confidence. And we're going to start singing. Incy wincy spider climbed up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. And Incy wincy spider climbed up the spout again. Lovely, do you want to give baby a nice cuddle? There you go. So this is a great one that you can do with your little ones. And as they get that bit bigger, um, you can do this one out of the water as well. So we can practice tummy time. So if you put little ones arms out and push them, it gives them that opportunity to push themselves up if they want to. And it's really good on strengthening that core and practicing it tummy time out of the water as well, okay? So, there we go. What we're going to do now is we're going to talk about back floating. So back floating is a really, really important safety skill for little ones. Obviously, if they're on their back, if they can breathe, um, it's really important building up that confidence of them being on their backs. Now, with little babies, it's really lovely for them to be lying nice and relaxed. You'll find if your little one's ears are fully under the water, they're relaxed. If they're sort of half in, half out, they might tickle, might feel a bit funny, and they might get a bit wiggly. As little ones get older, especially as they move towards sitting, you'll see that writing reflex kick in and they might not like necessarily lying down flat on their backs, but it is just a phase and it does pass, okay? So we say little and often, uh, gently lying them down, smiles, interaction, and then sitting them up if they want to uh, have a look around. Obviously the ceiling's got very exciting for them to look at, so there's lots of things that we can do, but first I'll show you a couple of positions that you can hold your little ones in when they're lying on their backs. Um, and there's things that we can do to distract them as they get a bit bigger. Can I borrow your baby again? Yeah. Thank you. So, first one I'm going to show you is our two-handed back floating position. So we've got one hand supporting the back of baby's head and neck, one hand supporting baby's bottom. And we're going to gently lie baby flat in the bar and gently move baby. That's it. Do we let mommy do it? Thank you. So gently lie baby. Baby likes your kisses. Nice and gentle. And if your little ones are really happy and relaxed in this position, what we can do is we can take that bottom hand away. Let them float on their backs, gently supporting those heads and necks with your little ones floating in the water. Now, when your little ones are in this position, what we can do is a couple of things to relax them. So first of all, you've got that eye contact. So lots of smiles, lots of praise, really important. We can do some of our baby signing. So this is our sign for star. So little ones love watching your hands moving and it's great for communication. Can I get that mirror? Should we get the mirror? Could you open the mirror for me, Hattie? Thank you. So babies are really sociable um, and that moment when they start to recognise themselves in the mirror is really lovely. So mirrors are great for little ones to look up. Can I get the mirror? Thank you. To look up in the bathroom and hold it for me. And they like to... Children are very sociable and like to look at themselves in the mirror. <laughs> so um, they can look up, see themselves in the mirror. There we go. And it's nice to keep them nice and relaxed, okay? You pop that mirror up in the background for me. There we go. So, like I said, if your little one is at that age when they're a bit more unsettled on their back, don't worry at all. It is just a phase. It will pass, okay? You'll probably see in your lessons that our teachers use some of their swim cards. Is your little one swimming on their back? Again, something to look at. Uh, the nice bright colours and often link into the song or skill that we're doing at the time. So, 
So, I'm going to teach you a couple of songs that you can use um, for your little ones when they're swimming on their backs. So first, we're going to be sleeping water babies, aren't we? Now for this skill, I'm going to get Hetty to hold the baby. What you want to do is you want to be holding your little ones, they're lying on their backs, you've got your hands nice and flat down their shoulder blades, your thumbs over their shoulders, and you're making that nice eye contact. So Hetty, come on, my baby, will you put your hands nice and flat for me? Good girl, that's it. Down baby's shoulders, good girl. Thumbs over baby's shoulders. Well done, sweetheart. Thank you. So as we sing the song, we're going to make nice eye contact with baby. And then we're going to sit them up halfway through the song and work on our rotation as well. Are you ready for that? So lie like baby nice and flat. Are you ready? See the little water baby sleeping till it's new. Shall we try and wake them with a merry tune? There they lie, stars float by. Wake up! Now swim, little baby, on your tongue. Swim, little baby, lots of fun. Fantastic! Thank you, Hetty. That was really helpful. Can I have your baby now? Yes. Thank you. So, little ones love singing. Singing with your little ones in the bar. Sing as much as you can. You know, they really love it. For little, uh, you, if you've got older children, um, a really good progression from this song is Dingle Dangle Scarecrow. Um, obviously, you can do it at the bar, they can lie, they can pretend to be pencils, they can pretend to be stars, which is great for back floating, and you can do it out of the bath as well. Um, on the Woodbabes website, there's a catch up page uh, to our sing along from Wednesday, and you can see that song on there, talking through the actions and everything with your little ones. So, I'm going to put Baby over there for a minute now. So, we're going to do a song with you next, okay? Okay. So, we put Baby down. So, if you've got older children, um, practicing being on their back is really good um, for streamlining and working towards the strokes in the water. And there's plenty, you can go down if you want, there's plenty of things you can do with them. Um, and at this age, and as they get older, you can start really focusing on those teaching points. So, for Hetty, I would say, what we're going to do is when you're lying flat on your back, I want your ears to be in the water. I want you to use your lovely long pointy toes and we're going to lie really straight and do little kicks. And I want you to try and keep those legs nice and straight with those pointy yeah. toes, okay? So I'm going to start singing the song. We're going to sing, if you're swimming on your back, kick your legs, okay? Are we ready, Hetty? There's water in I know, there's water in your ear. Can you lie down? Are you ready? If you're swimming on your back, kick your legs, kick, kick. If you're swimming on your back, kick your legs, kick, kick. If you're swimming on your back and you're lying nice and flat, if you're swimming on your back, kick your legs, kick, kick. Good girl. Do you want to sit up now? You're happy floating there. You're having a rest. It's a it's relaxing. It's relaxing being a star, isn't it? So you can really focus on those key teaching points with your little ones. So, sit up, we're going to play with some toys now, actually. Should we play some toys? Right, so toys at bath time, brilliant way um, to regain with your children. There's so much that you can do. We're not going to play with Bubba. We're going to come this way. Who's over there? It's the fish! So, Hetty, which one is your favourite fish? Dotty. So, Dotty is Hetty's favourite fish. Dotty was favourite uh, when you were little as well because the nice natural rubber, so brilliant for teething. So, you used to chew lots on Dotty's tail, didn't you? <laughs> so, and the good thing about the fish is as well, there's no holes in them, so um, there's no nasty bugs or anything like that that would get in the water. So, some skills that you can do with your little ones with the fish in the bath. First of all, we can look into the early years here. So, we can do some counting. Hetty, can we start counting these fish? Yeah. Good girl. Right, you sit up for me. I'm going to pass them to you. So, how many fish are there in the bath now? There's zero. No fish. Here we go. One, two, three. How many fish are in the bar? There's four and a mermaid. <laughs> Who's the mermaid? Me. Four fish and a mermaid in this bar. That's <laughs> exciting. So, Inky is a really great fish for younger babies. 
because ink is black and white, so they can see inky really clearly. So it is a great one. As you can see, I've got a very water confident um, child. <laughs> right, head sit up. We're going to do a song now. So a good song. Dotty joining in. So a good song that we can do with um, older babies is uh, chase that fishy. What we're working on with Chase That Fishy is that hand-eye coordination. So we're encouraging your little ones to reach out for that fish, so splat the fish, try and catch the fish. So really important work on that hand-eye coordination with your little ones. So pop Dottie in the bath, and we're going to do our tiger arms. So sit on your bottom for your tiger arms. Yeah, sit on your bottom for your tiger arms, and we're going to chase that fishy, okay? Can you just show me your tiger arms? Chase that fishy. I will sing. Chase that fishy. Chase that fishy. Reach out long, reach out long, catch it with your left hand, catch it with your right hand, swim along, swim along. Yay! You got her! Can I have Dotty? I'm eating that. <laughs> Dotty's tasty. So, as you want to get a bit older, working on their tiger arms in the bath, absolutely brilliant to do because you could really work on that skill that we're working towards uh, for a pool. So when they're back in the pool, uh, we can get some really good teaching points. So, Hetty, where can you see a tiger? Where? There. there. And there's one on here. Yeah. So, a few... Yeah, there's one there. Tigers everywhere. So there's a few key teaching points that we can work on with little ones um, if we're doing our tiger arms. So, Hetty, could you sit there's in your bottom? There's a tiger in our book. We'll get the book out later, I promise. Thank you. So, we're going to do our tiger arms. Hetty, could you show me your tiger arms? How do we do those hands? Can you dip them in the glue? So, they're sitting together. Stuck together. Good girl. Fingers, show me your hands. They're all stuck together. Stuck Yeah. And what we're going to do is we're going to really reach on. Reach and pull the water back. Could you sit up? Me back. Could you sit up? What are you doing? So we're going to reach and pull the water back. Reach and pull the water back. We're going to do raw, raw little water baby now. Are we ready? So. Raw, raw little water baby. Raw, raw little water baby. Raw, raw little water baby. Roaring like a tiger. Nice and gently. 
Good. Bubbles. Now, sit up. We're going to progress that even further. See so if you've got some older children. Right at the end, we're encouraging them to put their whole face in while they exhale. So, Hetty, could you blow your bubbles this time? Could you blow them with your nose and your mouth? And can you push the ball with your forehead? Again. Nice and gently for me. Good girl. I'll try. Go on then. Big one. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how 
baby nice baby. You can read the book to baby, fantastic. So thank you for joining us in our first you probably gave everything off. You caught it, wasn't well sweetie? I'll hop up there. So thank you for joining us in our first fly in the bar um, with a child. What's the figure wrong? Um, we've loved having you. Um, if you've got any questions, obviously get in touch. Uh, tomorrow, join us. We're going live again on Instagram. Uh, so we're going to have uh, the midwifery manager, Kate, from Tommy's. She's going to be answering all your questions on everything pregnancy and childbirth. So join us there and keep an eye on the Water Babies website uh, for our lives coming up over the next few days. And we're going to say bye-bye to everybody.